Hey guys, welcome back for another video. My name is Paige and today I'm going to be telling you where I've been and like going over like a little mini-ish book call. So let's get started. So I've been away for a bit for book two because I started a full-time job and, you know, life. So um, I have an accumulation of books. I really didn't want to wait till the end of the month to do like a book haul. So I'm going to just show you all these books I got and where an explanation of them are. So some of these books uh, were given to me from publishers and authors and organizations um, where they asked for my review. So these are the books. That so I have How She Died, How I Lived by Mary Crockett. Um, this comes out November 2018, and I'm going to read it this month. I have Anything But Okay by Sarah Darer Littman. Uh, it comes out October 9th, and I'm going to read this this month. I have Darius the Great Is Not Okay by Abib uh, Quorum. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, this came out in August. I'm going to read this eventually. Summer Skin by Christy Eager. Um, I'm not sure when this came out. It was sometime this year. I can't remember, but I know that this is a, um, a backlist book as well. I have Warlock Combs, A Study in Brimstone by G.S. Denning. Um, the author is wanting me to review this book, so I will next month because I'm going to also host a little, um, 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 what do you call them? Book club that thing. I'm going to host a little book club for it. <laughs> and then I also have um, Giselle in the, yeah, Giselle, I think, in the Shadows by Michelle Peach. Um, author gave this to me and I'm going to give her a review. Flyers by Laura May. I got this a while ago, so I still need to read and review it. The Crowns of Croswell by D.E. Knight. I still need to review this one. Again, this is one that has been on my list for a little bit. Amber and Dusk by Lyra, uh, yeah, Lyra Celine. It comes out November 27, 2018, and I'm going to get to this eventually. <laughs> the Disasters by M.K. England uh, comes out sometime in December of this year, and super excited for this. Um, and I'm going to probably review that maybe November. To Be Honest by Maggie Ann Martin. Uh, came out in August, so this is a backlog, so I'm also going to review this soon. Another backlog is Listen to Your Heart by Casey West. Came out May 29th. Um, I'm going to try to review this maybe like November. Um, and then I have Why the Silence Read a Song by Alessandra Devani. De um, this is like the, um, this is almost like an Italian version of The Fault in Our Stars. So I'm going to read this um, soon. I'm not sure when it comes out. I think it comes out this month. And I have uh, Pulp by Robin Tolly comes out November 13th. Um, and I'm going to read this soon. And the one I'm currently reading that I'm super excited about is Imposters by Scott Westerfield. Comes out September 11th. So I'm going to quickly read this. And I also have, it's in my purse, I have um, Light Years by Cass Morgan sent to me by the novel. So thank you, the novel. Super excited to read it. It's up next on my list. Um, also this month, uh, well, the first part of this month, I went to Decatur Book Festival and I got some books. <laughs> so to quickly go through these, I got a finished copy early, early I will say, of City of Ghosts by V.E. Schwab. And let me remove my sticky tab. And she signed it, personalized it, super cool. Um, I am in the Obscurus book club, so I am going to uh, read, read and that's actually going to be a reread for me. So reread that and maybe find Frankenstein, I'm not sure. Um, I also bought Beware the Wild by Natalie C. Parker, who is the author of, if I can find it. <laughs> Sea Fire. Um, I picked both of these up at the Cater Book Festival. Did not get them signed because um, I missed her. I, I, I had some stomach issues so I had to go. Um, but this is really cool. This is um, something about a swamp. This is obviously something about water. 
Sounds cool. Apparently she really likes water books. <laughs> then I went to a panel and saw some two amazing authors. One of them was Roshani uh, Choksi, who is the author of The Stark's Touch Queen. But she was talking about one of her newer books, which is Arisha and the End of Time. Um, and she signed, personalized the book for me. She is super sweet. This book sounds fantastic. I can't wait to read it. But also there was J.C. Cervantes, who is the author of The Storm Runner, and both of these are part of Rick Riordan's new imprint, uh, Rick Riordan Presents, which is going to bring um, kind of like his version of books, like mythological books set in modern time, to, um, to um, with more diverse authors presenting them, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, this one was also an early release that they had at the Cater Book Festival. I had an e-arc, quickly switched over to this one, and just finished it. I am absolutely in love with this book. It is amazing. And then I also got a copy of Burning Brightly by Alexia Dunn. Um, I saw her in a, in a panel, and she gave me the, these really cool bookmarks. Um, and it says, he was a planet far from reach, a brightly burning star too distant to fathom. Um, if you don't know, this was one of my favorite uh, arcs of 2018. So definitely check this one out if you're looking for a, um, a space sci-fi book. I also got Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Cho. This wouldn't be a book that I would normally get, but um, the author was actually like really, really funny and hilarious. And I was like, okay, I'll give your book a chance. I also saw Scott Rettigan and the Cater Book Fest, and I picked up his uh, his sequel, Nixia Unleashed. I have yet to read Nixia, so now I can read these back to back. And then after one ex uh, one one day, like right after the Cater Book Festival, me and my husband went to Barnes and Nobles. Um, so I picked up Campfire by Sean Sarley's Sarley's. Um, sounds really cool. This is part of the James Patterson imprint, and this is going to be an excellent book for October. And I also picked up Part of Your World by Liz Braswell. Um, I love these twisted tales, and I think I'm going to, like, I've only read one. So I think I have The Bell One and um, Mulan and Aurora retellings. So maybe I'll just um, um, read, the, read all of them together. And then we just got back from Target today, so I picked up Hocus Pocus and the, and the all-new sequel. Um, I really like this. It's a hardcover, but it doesn't have, um, like a, a flappy flappy thing in the front. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Again, another, um, another October read. And also look at this. Look at the back. So these are the original witches from Hocus Pocus. And these are the ones that are in the book. Then I also had some bookish mail. So I have uh, Dr. Brainchild and Radar, a popcorn discovery that was sent to me by the author who is... So nice, so sweet. I have sent from a friend from a, um, a giveaway I won. He sent me A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. And he also sent me Winter. Um, I thought this was one version of Winter, but no, it's like the European version. Um, and yes, I also do have the hardback. <laughs> accidentally bought that. <laughs> accidentally like it just jumped into my shopping cart and demanded that I buy it um, and also in the mail I got um, two books from two book boxes I got <laughs> guys I'm awful I'm so so awful so I got a copy of Seafire so one of these copies probably this one is going to go to a friend who's going to send okay so it's kind of weird but, um, so I'm going to send this copy of Seafire to my friend Rachel. In exchange for this, she's going to send a copy of To Kill a Kingdom to our friend Craig. And in exchange for that, our friend Craig is going to send a candle that is To Kill a Kingdom themed. It sounds really convoluted, but, you know, it's going to work. Because I want the candle, Rachel wants this book. And Craig wants to kill a kingdom. So it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out. <laughs> and also, um, I just got my Book of the Month box for September. And I got Fashion Victim by Amina Akhtar. I don't know. I, d I thought that this was like, um, because of the the, the, t the two people right there, I thought that this was somehow related to murder trending. But apparently it's not. But you know what? Whatever. 
it's cool. It's a cute little cover. I can get behind this. All right, so that is what I've been doing recently and a little mini book haul. Um, and if you can't tell from my books, um, bookshelves, I have run out of room. So I am going to stop, re I'm going to have to stop uh, buying books and stop requesting books and go on a bit of a ban until I clear up some room because my husband absolutely refuses to buy me any more bookcases, sadly. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing recently. So let me know down in the comments below what you've been doing and what book that you saw that um, that you're excited to read or that you have read and that you think I should read immediately. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye!